Hey everyone, Excalitro 1.9.2 is out with a brand new color picker. And so here you can see the color picker in action. In short, you get five top pick colors for each of your stroke background and canvas background. And when you click here on the color picker button, then this picker opens up where you see your old palette. But now if you click any of these colors, you will see that there are five different shades available of this palette. So you can change between shades. And we still have the text here that if you want to add your color string, you can do it. And the color picker button is still here. So if you want to just choose any color from the screen, you can still do that. So all of this is great. It's self-explanatory. I'm not going to go on long about this. Now, if you've seen some of my earlier videos on defining your own custom color palette, I'm going to include a link in the video description to some of them, then you know that you can create custom color palettes. And there are some changes that I want to walk you through as well as if you're new to this, then I want to show you how you can load your custom palette with this new color picker. So this is my custom palette. And what you can see here is that in the canvas background, this is already using my custom background colors. So I've created these top pick colors as well as here. If I come here, you can see that these top picks are custom made. I chose them from my palette as well as I have my palette here. And you can see that my palette also has the different shades of colors and I loaded the palette here. So how do I do all of this? This is what I want to walk you through very quickly. Now the best place to update your palette is in your Excalitro template file. If you're not familiar with this, again, I'm going to include two videos here that you should really learn about templates. They are super powerful. In short, if you set up a template file, then whatever you do on this template, so for example, now I'm drawing this circle here and I'm turning on the grid. Whenever you create a new drawing, so now I'm creating a brand new drawing, that is going to appear with the settings that you've defined in your template file. So we are now going to define the color palette in the template file that is then going to be applied to all new drawings that you create. Loading the color palette, I'm not going to talk about how you define your color palette. You will find the video in the description how to do this. But once you have a palette file, you can click the palette loader script. If you don't have the palette loader script, you need to come to install or update Excolidro scripts and you need to scroll down here to palette loader. And here you need to click install or if you already have this installed, you need to click update here because I've released an updated palette loader to support the new color picker in Excolid Draw. So I'm going to click the palette loader here. And when I click the palette loader, I'm faced with two options. I can load a palette from file or I can set the top pick colors based on the background of five selected elements. So let's first load a palette from file. I'm going to load my warm palette. So this is the palette that I'm typically using. So I'm going to click on this and apparently nothing happened, but yes, something did happen. So I'm now going to draw a rectangle here. And if I click here, then you can see that my palette is loaded. However, you can see that the top pick colors are still the default top pick colors. I need to define my new top pick colors. So I'm going to show you how to do that. What you need to do is you need to draw five rectangles or five circles or five diamonds, five of whatever. So I'm going to just copy five of these right here. So I've created five objects and I need to set the background color of each of these to the colors I want to see here. So for example, if I want to set the stroke color, then the first stroke color should be black. 
So if I want to set the stroke color, I need to set the background color of this. So I want the first stroke color to be black. Then I want the second stroke color to be this dark gray. Then I want my third stroke color to be this dark brown. Then I want my fourth to be this uh, dark green color here. I think this one and then my last stroke color I just want this to be transparent and when I've set this these colors up these are going to be my new default stroke colors so I'm going to open the palette loader I'm going to click set top picks based on background color of five selected elements and I'm going to now update the stroke color default so when I click this it seems as if nothing has happened. You need to close and open this and then you will see that indeed my new colors are right here. I need to do the same for the background. So I'm just going to quickly update the background colors here as well. So this is background number one. This is my background number two. This is going to be here background number three. This right here is going to be background four and finally i want this dark gray to be background five so these are my default backgrounds and then select these five items and i'm going to click the color palette loader and i'm going to set top picks based on the background of the selected five elements and i'm going to edit the element background color and now if i close and open this then you can see that i have my new background colors here as the default colors these are the element backgrounds and as you would expect if now i create a new drawing then this new drawing okay because i left this here in the template so i'm going to delete this from the template and I'm just going to create a new drawing. So this new drawing will come predefined with my new color palette. So you can see the top picks here and you can see my own color palette here. So from here on, it is very easy to create drawings with my custom palette. And of course, for my template, I'm also going to do this with the canvas backgrounds, but the process is exactly the same. So I'm not going to bore you with it. You create your five objects, you add the background colors and with the palette loader, you can simply update the top picks for the canvas background color as well. So I hope you will find this new color picker helpful it takes a little bit of time to get used to as well as this is new so i'm sure that there are going to be some tweaks by the excolid raw team but i think overall this is a great improvement for excolid raw these shades are fantastic i think with these shades you might even not want to have your own custom palette but if you want to create your custom palette then now you know how Thank you.